so I'm doing this uh, short video just to help out uh, anybody who's having problems using their uh, Gear 360 Samsung cameras because of the lack of software support. So as we all know, uh, Samsung has ditched the, um, the support for the apps on the newer smartphones. So you, you either have a, a, an old uh, Samsung smartphone or you mm, might think that you are unable to use your cameras. Well, that's not entirely true because you can still use the PC, um, the PC app uh either on on windows pc or on mac although i'm not sure about the mac uh, if it's still usable because i do not use it um the problem with the windows pc application is that um if you download it from the uh, official uh, web page um when you go and try to install it you often get this error. I know I did on all of my uh, compu recent computers. So basically, it says that you're missing the Visual C++ redistributable package for Visual Studio 2013. Uh, now, the problem is that you probably have it all already installed, but you have a newer version than the one that uh, the Gear 360 Action Director is, is expecting to find. So it, it gives you this error. Now there's nothing you can do because you cannot install the one that it's that the um, Gear 360 Action Director is looking for because it's no longer available from Microsoft. So while I was trying to to solve this problem I stumbled upon this Reddit thread where um, Grant Robertson actually goes through goes through and explains um how we how we figure it out so basically uh, you can go in and I'll I'll leave the link for this reddit thread so that you can uh, read it but basically what uh Grant Robertson did was that he uh created a a, a registry um uh, upgrade <laughs> that um, will change um, will change the way that uh, cyber, the, 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 the Gear 360 is looking for the files and so basically it tells Gear 3 uh, Gear 360 Action Director installer that he can go ahead and install because it already has the Visual C++ 2013 redistributable. So what you go, what you can do is you go, go ahead and download the uh, the app from the Gear 3 from from the the web page, and then what I did is I I've uh, I've placed the um, I've I've created the register file uh, with the instructions from the Reddit thread and I will also post a link to to my folder where you can download both the register and also the 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 app because I don't know how long it will stay uh, available at Sam in the Samsung web page so I've also put it on a, a folder that I'm sharing so basically what you have to do is you just have to run this fix and it will ask you if you want to change. You just go ahead and say yes. Uh, it will give you uh, a warning that this might create problems, blah, blah, blah. It's safe. Um, and you just go ahead and say yes. Then you say OK. And then you just run the installation for the gear 360 action director i'm not going to do that because i already have it installed so basically that's it now some other people were having problems uh stitching pictures because they think that the gear 360 does not uh, allow to stitch to stitch pictures 
but it does actually so if you go ahead and open the gear 360 action director you go into the 360 vr video mode and it will it will open up the app the application now what you what you go ahead and do is you go and, and get the the images that you want to stitch and you just grab them and you um, just drop them on the app here on the media uh, tab and it says importing media so after it's done you can see that the pictures are here and you can see that they are in fact stitched all of them are stitched uh, and you get a, a 360 icon over there saying that it's actually stitched okay so but how do you export them where are they where where can you get the pictures well you do not export them as you would do with the video what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the preferences and on the file tab you're going to search for whatever export folder you have configured in your uh, in your software so this is the folder where your pictures are going to show up stitched so if i go to this folder on my computer here are the files that i just stitched of course they will show up as a uh, flat picture and not a 360 picture but once you if you use uh, a vr picture viewer or if you ex or if you post these pictures on uh, on Facebook you will see that they come up as 360 if not then you have to use the metadata injector uh, to inject the 360 metadata into the uh, into the file and then when you upload it it will show up as a 360 okay so I hope this helps anybody I'll leave the links below to the f to my folder where I have the register uh, file um and also the uh, the application in, ca in case you in case it it goes offline in the official website well hope this helps bye